It is 13 minutes past seven. Well, the nation's richest person, Gina Reinhart, has told struggling Aussies to stop whinging and get out of the pub. The mining magnate says that those jealous of wealthy people should work harder and spend less time drinking, smoking and socialising. She's attacked socialist policy, suggesting the government lower the minimum wage, which is currently $606.40 a week. She believes cutting taxes instead of instead will stimulate employment, Reinhardt says millionaires and billionaires are the ones who really help the nation's poor. Well, Green Senator Lee Rhiannon joins us now with her reaction. Lee, good to see you. Uh, could low-paid workers survive if the minimum wage was cut, as Ms Reinhardt suggests? Oh, life would be just tougher. Her comments are really quite insulting. I think often an unfortunate um, spin-off of wealth is often arrogance and greed, and she seems a prime example at the moment. But we're, we're having to import workers from overseas because we don't have enough Australians willing to work those lower paid jobs. So are we pricing ourselves out of the market or as some of our, our viewers are saying, we're becoming a bit too snooty with the, with the work that we want? Well, the unions have identified that there's many people who want work and they have a right to have decent conditions. And I think it's worth remembering what Gina Reinhart is trying to do here is boost her own profits. She's one of the wealthiest people in the world. But when you start talking about getting rid of red tape, she's actually talking about removing regulations that is what delivered decent working conditions. You know, do we really want to be like many countries in Africa where people are working 16 hours a day and at the end of the week they still don't have enough money uh, and are not able to feed their own families. But people like Gina Reinhart are building Australia, aren't they? The self-made success stories are people to be admired rather than torn down. Do you respect success? Oh, I absolutely respect success, but Gina Reinhardt's not self-made. I mean, she's accumulated wealth from her family and it's the workers who are out there who are, you know, sort of assembling that wealth. They're the, and we need more skilled workers in this country. So there's a lot of answers to this issue. But at the end of the day, what Australians want, it's not what she's talking about in terms of getting out of the pub. Australians do want a more caring society and they want, like this um, package that the Greens and the government have just brought forward on dental health. Yep, sure. That's what we want. Okay. And so at the end of the day, we have a better, fairer society. Thanks for your time this morning. Thank you. Thank you.